simulation and system design is a good course if you are looking to specialize in simulation basically it's a specialization by itself and if you want to get into simulation or into product design right it's a good course for everyone Okay, right, so I'm sitting here with students. Uh, they are currently studying in Hochschule Stralsund. Masters in what? I studied. Simulation and system design. Okay, you guys have come in summer intake 2024. Yeah. How about we quickly start with your introduction, and then we'll talk about the programs. What you're studying? Okay, I'm Sindesh Bornarkar. I studied my mechanical engineering bachelor's from Pune University, and I had a grade of 9.23. Okay. I'm freshly passed. I'm Omkar Para, and I did my bachelor's in mechanical engineering from Mumbai University, and my CGPA was 9.49. So my name is Mohit Patel. I also done my bachelor's in mechanical. mechanical uh, from itm vocational university in gujarat with an overall cgpa of 9.15 i have been also graduated last year in 23 june 23 hi guys i'm satvik i did my bachelor's in aeronautical engineering and i have 2.5 years of work experience and now i'm studying simulation and system design here so i have my okay. grade point of 8.9 have you guys met somebody with lower grades than what is mm-hmm. there on the mm-hmm. table no, i don't think so <laughs> <laughs> no no batch of 9 okay okay okay. Okay. Sure. Yeah. okay okay who is this course designed for that's my first question and second question is uh, what kind of bachelors are accepted for this masters program simulation and system design is basically involves product design or any system design using simulation so if you for example you want to start create a prototype or something like that how do you go about doing simulation and coming to one step of the product for example this is just an example but it can be used in many categories and stuff you need to have a background in mechanical engineering whether it is aeronautical engineering or automobile or mechanical any any mechanical branch because their prerequisites are you know something about mechanical background a, a little bit about cad a little bit about engineering graphics a little bit about how simulation works for example that's their basic idea okay where is the application for this program goes from is it uni assist or direct university program? no it goes from uni assist you have to apply from uni assist you have to submit all your documents through uni assist to the university do you still remember the documents or no yeah i still remember the documents tell me what like our bachelor's results uh, results each and every results then if you have your degree your degree then uh, lor two lors one cv maybe aps certificate also and yeah okay yeah. can we talk a little bit about what specializations one can do when they get into this course so simulation in general is a specialization in mechanical engineering right so this you can apply in like different domains like if you want to like uh, make part for automotive so you can use finite element analysis but if you want to go into aerospace or do a cfd analysis it's like a simulation for that then post completion of this program mm. i'm sure ye lene se pehle socha hoga right ki mm. main sabke reason hote hain ki main kyun lene ho i'm sure you must have had other admissions also mm. ye course structure dekha hoga course curriculum dekha hoga mm. mujhe basically i'm trying to ask you question ki iska outcome kya hai matlab ye khatam hone ke baad kya career prospects milega career prospects in the sense ki aapke liye do doors open hote hain ek to control engineering jahan vehicle management system स्टम अप्लाइड कंप्यूटर साइंस ये इन्वॉल्व होगा अदरवाइज द एनालिसिस पार्ट यहाँ पर सी एफ डी फाइनेट एलिमेंट एनालिसिस और साथ में लाइट वेट में मटेरियल मैनेजमेंट वो अप्लाई होगा सो ये दो वास्ट डोर से एप्लीकेशन वाइज तुम्हें क्या करना सो आई एम मोस्टली फोकसिंग ऑटोमोबाइल इंजीनियरिंग ऑटोमोटिव ऑटोमोटिव एंड इन सम सेंस एनर्जी कन्वर्जन इसके बारे में मतलब पढ़ाई है इसको लाइक इज दिस गोइंग टू बी आई यू स्टार्टिंग समथिंग रिलेटेड टू एनर्जी ट्रांसफर एनर्जी ट्रांसफर की जो कंट्रोल साइंस होता है कंट्रोल सिस्टम उसके पीछे वाले सो उसमें मेटलैब आता है सिमिलिंग आता है राइट साथ ही साथ मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम जो है व्हीकल मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम है कोर्स है कंपलसरी सब्जेक्ट आई जस्ट वांट टू आस्क लाइक एनीबॉडी कैन आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन लाइक तुम जो भी पढ़ रहे हो इसके इसके जॉब्स है क्या बाहर डू यू फाइंड जॉब्स ऑन लिंक्डइन हां या है वी फाउंड मेनी अभी तो हम लोग पढ़ाई कर रहे हैं सो वी कांट अप्लाई सो बट वी हैव सीन बिफोर इवन अप्लाइंग लाइक इफ वी गेट आफ्टर इवन गेटिंग आवर एप्लीकेशन डन फॉर दिस यूनिवर्सिटी सो वी चेक ऑन लिंक्डइन एंड एवरीवेयर दैट वी विल गेट जॉब्स और नॉट ऑन दिस कोर्स हियर सो देयर आर मेनी जॉब्स हियर in okay. germany okay okay and jaise ki tune to aeronautical kiya tha right and they have done all three of them and have done mechanical engineering yeah. in their bachelors how easy or difficult is it for you or it makes no difference i think it doesn't make a difference if you are generally looking for any simulation work experience but for me personally being an aeronautical engineer it would be nice to have a company like airbus and the thing is there are quite a few simulation jobs not just for airbus or something like that but there are different companies small companies as well who 
contribute to the aerospace industry using simulation so there's quite a few companies there but also being germany there's so many automobile companies here and if you have a degree from germany in simulation and system design you are a really good choice for automobile companies as well because everyone is into simulation right now mm -hmm. everyone every company is into simulation or they can't make it because they have new products coming up they're designing new stuff every day everyone has to be competitive and there's a lot of scope for simulation in simulation in general but especially in germany with automobile being like the core. yeah core being part. the core there's a very good scope for simulation and that's exactly what you want to do when yes. you graduate yeah okay have you already acquired some skills for that or not yet you're preparing no, i'm preparing i'm still preparing yeah where are you I'm, right now in terms of skills so right now i'm focusing on the technical skills, like trying to learn as much as possible about the technical simulation skills for example for example like cfd mm -hmm. or fem or whatever so you have to be like it has to come very naturally to you so if you are into simulation it's not just that you can learn how to use a software mm -hmm. because the softwares we have available to us like for example if you have a student version of ansys for example you want to run a simple simulation of water flowing through the pipe it's it's all easy what you need to do in big companies or what normally your role would be as a simulation engineer would be to design a system by going through iterations using simulation which Correct. is which is very technical and you need to know how simulation works at the back right. because you can't really use a simulation algorithm that someone else has made for you or for a particular a situation or for a particular technical problem you will have new problems as you go and then you have to design a system that works for that particular system so you need to be very technically sound into simulation like Main kya karunga to kya you right. have to you have to develop your own algorithms and that is the place where the most roles are available have you met some students who have graduated now working full-time from such programs i have them. met one of my friend and yeah. he has also graduated from the same course and he's working in a reputed company in germany nice yeah and was he a fresher as well yeah he was a fresher as well he so came, that gives a hope that yeah. tum log bhi kuch kar Co so, par he was having a main advantage that he had done his language skills as men uh, gripped his language skills in germany okay just couple of questions one i need to know what's the semester contribution you're paying for this course so i had to pay 113 euros but that was including the 20 euros registration fee so it's like 93 per semester and you, this program is of three semester four semester, four semester. semester program yeah and one is the internship semester is it mandatory yeah, yeah. and all of you all four of you yeah. want to graduate and go and work in the industry yeah is there somebody here who wants to do phd mm. not really not, not really. really okay what do you want to do after this i have my options open currently so like it's not that i want to work only in aeronautic or only in automobile or something okay if there's an opportunity i would rather go with it okay conclude the entire program okay Ek do sentence mein. simulation and system design is a good course if you are looking to specialize in simulation basically it's a specialization by itself and if you want to get into simulation or into product design right it's a good course for everyone so that's all what we have and if you have any questions specific to the program please reach out to the university management directly they are the right people to answer your questions i mean again because i'm in stralsund right now you can see that this is one of the options what mechanical program students have but there are similar programs i've made other videos with them as a mechanical students which other universities did they apply aap ye clarity leke aao ki aapko career kis mein banana hai uske fir course curriculum check karke andar jana theek hai don't forget that there are some important links in the description of this video if you've made it till here hit that thumbs up button and i'll see you guys next time bye 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 bye